Bam! 2020 Indiana archery season has begun. Grab the harnesses. Grab the quiver for the crossbow. Here's a quiver. Crossbow. Today's weapon of choice. I had two Matthews bows to choose from. We're gonna go with the Z2 today. Got them packed up. Guys, I'm so stinking excited for this day. Bro, are you ready to swack? Yeah. You ready to swack, dog? Oh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. So we're on our way out. Opening morning, 2020, September 15th, Indiana. And, uh, He's rocking the crossbow, the 10 point. She's gonna be using my uh, Barnett crossbow that we just sighted in yesterday. She shot at 50. Everything shoots good, we're all good to go. We're gonna get harnesses on, crossbows loaded. I'm gonna carry my compound with me today and go get set up. just a few days ago guys about four or five days ago it's coming up really nice. well, I thought she looked right in here I'm not seeing anything so far I mean you're, you don't look prepared but I'm definitely prepared Sponsor. You guys aren't gonna believe this, but bro, show them my get up. They gotta see what's going on. So like, if I can shoot a deer in this, 
I gotta get like a real tree sponsor to be like a real tree. I may have gotten lucky once, but I don't want to have to try to get lucky next time. Give me some camo. No, in all reality, I bought some real tree camo, but then I thought it was in my brother's car, but it wasn't. So now I'm wearing freaking shorts and a mossy oak <laughs> jacket. So let's go get in the stand. You can see the food plot sprouting up nice. You can see where that doe was this morning. We're going to explain that situation in just a second. New scope today. Yep. Yeah. My brother's crossbow. We both decided to bring crossbows out this afternoon after realizing we both could have already had does down for our urban buck tags. And I understand the challenge of a compound. It's kind of cool. But when you like have to shoot a doe to be able to have a buck tag, I just want to shoot a doe just so I have my buck tag. And what happened this morning was it looked like a good hit at first, like zoomed out, but we zoomed in on the shot really close. After cracking for like 600 yards and finding like pin drops of blood. And I remember right after taking the shot, my brother's like, dude, I'm pretty sure you hit the leg. I was like, no, nah, dude, it was like forward, but I didn't hit the leg. Like it was like right in front of the leg, you know, maybe. And uh, we did it in slow-mo and I hit like probably five inches below the chest cavity, straight in the center of her leg. If I wouldn't have hit that leg and I would have hit over like two inches, it would have been a clean mess. So that sucks. However, that is why a yearling went 600 yards and not one bed, not a big amount of blood anywhere. I mean, it was a non-lethal hit. And the only way that deer could possibly die is if she gets like mauled by a coyote or something. But I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. She's not mortally wounded, so she didn't bed. You know, she's she's not dying, so nothing we can really do about it. We're gonna sit in the same spot again tonight. Um, hopefully, we see some good action. Usually, this spot is a really good evening stand. Good morning, too. But usually, right over here in front of the camera. We get pictures of like four, five, six, seven does every single night for the past like two months just grazing out here. So fingers crossed that that happens again. And uh, for sure at least one deer down, but hopefully two. She's down. Dude, I didn't even know there was three. Gosh, I hit her back. Yeah. I, like, I was holding with my 30 yard pin, and I was holding right up against the shoulder, but she like, she played in slow-mo, but she like ducked and turned away. I didn't know there was three of them, because I was sitting, trying not to move. 
She ducked and turned away super fast, and I was like, I saw my arrow hit, and as soon as she ducked and turned, it like smacked her like maybe high lung, but like at the back of the lungs maybe, but uh, uh, I heard her just did. Oh, dude, did you see the blood spraying out? I didn't see there was three. Oh, you didn't see the deer at all? I don't know. I don't know if I got it, because I was trying not to move, so I was like, I do I the tree. And then she like ran in, and then she circled, and she died like right here. Just off the trail. Yeah, we can finally buck that now. I know, I have a buck tag now. Yeah, I do have so get into both lungs. I thought she was gonna run, dude. I was like, she's on to us. Hopefully the audio picks up good. We don't have our mic on today, but um, opening two days, Indiana Urban Deer Season 2020. And this is a good way, kind of a bittersweet way to come back to the vlogs. I haven't done these videos on Burley Outdoors in forever. Hit a deer in the leg yesterday at 55 yards, which looking back, I should have held a little bit higher with my 50 yard pin. I just held on thinking, okay, she's gonna duck into it. Should have held a little bit higher because those arrows with that heavy setup, they do drop pretty quick after, you know, after like 35 yards, they drop pretty fast. Um, live and learn, but luckily that deer will probably survive unless coyotes or something get to it, but other than that, she seemed to be moving just fine, didn't bed down once. Day number two is off to a better start of the season. Um, sitting here talking for like 20 minutes, not paying attention at all. That's what diehard deer hunters do. And I'm like sitting here talking, I'm like, yeah, bruh, yeah, you know, we aren't seeing anything. It's like 7.45. <laughs> I complain about how we haven't seen any deer. We haven't seen deer yet. <laughs> and then my brother's like, bro, there's deer right behind us. I'm like, you're kidding. He's like, dude, slowly turn around. There's deer right there. And he wasn't lying this time. There's actually deer right there. <laughs> he only saw the two yearlings, and he's like filming them mostly, holding the camera like around the corner of the tree. And then I shot the mature doe because the other two yearlings, I couldn't tell for sure, but I thought they were with button bucks anyway. And I was like, okay, I'm not gonna shoot a button buck when I know I have an option to shoot a doe right now. And she was getting kind of skittish, but I knew that I'd range find at that spot yesterday. It was like 30, 35, so I held my 30, and I held it a little bit higher than I did yesterday because I was just nervous about hitting low and just completely missing again. She kind of ducked and turned away and I think it buried it right down into her upper lungs. The good news is, other than having venison for the fridge, I now have a buck tag. In fact, I have two buck tags. One for the urban zone and one for statewide. Employee, dude, a hawk literally just landed above you. We're back, we got breakfast. I ate, the wifey's here, where's the baby? In the car, sitting. He's got the heat on, he's out. So much for him going on his first track job. <laughs> I was so excited. And then we got the truck back down into the ditch right here so that it's a nice low lift into the bed. So let's go check this thing out. All right, we're good. Okay, so <laughs> the deer popped out here. I saw him coming. No, you didn't. They walked down through here. And the whole time that Mama Doe, I don't know why, she was so alert. Like, she was so on edge. I was like, oh my gosh. But she never saw us. Our wind was perfect. It was blowing straight out of the west, blowing east which is basically, if you look at where we were at in this tree, which is blowing it straight down the tree line, straight behind us. So really, unless they would have crossed behind us through the tree line, that's the only way that they could have seen us. Or, I mean, smelled us, I'm saying. Yearling passed through, another yearling passed through, and she came over here, she took a couple steps. I think she was like right here, when I let the arrow fly. And here's first blood, as soon as it hit her, there's already blood everywhere right here. Yeah. As soon as it hit her, there's a bunch there too. Oh, or yeah, behind you. Lot. It's out both sides. So when she came, she bolted around the corner. You can see where she ran over here. You can see all this spraying. What do you think it was? One shot? I'm thinking it was high lung. But please don't tell me this deer like crossed the trail and went all through the woods. She literally like looped in. We could have not little, even gone This the woods. little tiny finger of wood she looped in and then she just like she ran right down the road. Look at it. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. She tried right in the road. I literally checked down this trail before we started walking. Yeah, that was long. How far do you think she actually ran? Like total distance, not from the stand, like total distance, she probably ran 75-ish, 65, 75. 
um, total distance that she sprinted real quick. She might be, uh, she might be not be that mature. She's, she looks like she might be a, what, a two and a half year old maybe. Mm -hmm. Probably not a three year old plus. Probably two and a half year old deer actually. I'm gonna take her over to the processor today because I like having summer sausage to slice for my eggs and biscuits every morning. I've got a buck tag for my urban zone, so I can work on filling that now. And then starting October 1st, I have a statewide tag for a buck, so I'm freaking stoked. So happy, so happy. Ordinarily, I probably wouldn't have shot this doe first because it's easier to shoot a buck right now than any other time with summer patterns. But by law, I have to tag a doe first and I'm hunting the urban rule, the urban season and the urban rules. So I have to hunt by those rules to be able to get my buck tag. Let's get her drug out of here. Sure you see the deer? Yeah. <laughs> His first time helping dad get a deer. <laughs> Actually he was sleeping. Truck. <laughs> hey, he's awake though. Look at him. He's awake, bro. So look, he's checking it out. He's totally into that. He's so excited. We're gonna get this thing hauled up and we're gonna gut it out up by the pond that we were out of the territory where we're gonna be hunting even though we just drug a deer with blood all through everywhere. But we wanna have wherever the vultures and coyotes and everything's gonna be tearing at the stuff we don't consume, the internals. Um, it can be up away from the hunting location. If you guys enjoy the hunting vlogs, if you guys wanna see more of these, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It's a blast. You guys are gonna have a lot of fun watching these. We have a lot of fun making them. So if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We are on the mission to get my brother a doe yet, my wife a doe on camera, and then buck hunting. I mean, we all have urban buck tags then, and then we have statewide buck tags. We're closing on another hunting property in Ohio, mid-October, so we should be able to do some Ohio hunting. That's about 25, 30 minutes from us, so it's gonna be a busy season. We're trying to get as much footage as we can for you guys, trying to expand things over here and get this channel popping again, bring it to life. So if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you have not done so yet, and we will catch you in the next hunting vlog. Peace.